Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new 7 Days to Die Alpha 21 collab. Now don't mind me speeding through the early game tutorial missions while we have a quick chat to set the stage for the series. I've the joy of being joined on this 7 Days adventure by Wonderbot, Pentahybrid and Modiply, who have no recent experience and in some cases any experience at all with the game. There's a charm and many shenanigans to be found in experiencing the early game through the eyes of new players, so I hope you'll have fun with us as we bite off more than we can chew and spend a lot of time making things harder for ourselves as we learn how to work together as a group. Though it does go without saying that, especially in the early days and nights, progress may be a little slower than you're used to, especially if you're familiar with my collabs with Lady Shelab, where our confidence is born as much from our familiarity with each other as from our familiarity with the game itself. With that said, for those who'd like info on the server settings, we're playing on Nomad difficulty, as I'm not that much of a sadist, nor that accomplished of a cat herder, with loot respawns disabled and friendly fire turned on. As always, if by the end of the video you decide you enjoyed what you saw and you want to see more, be sure to let Saint Algorithmus know by massaging those lovely buttons down below. But with that said, let's get into the game. Right, I'm lingering down by the... Uh, trader, hopefully, based on our proximity. I mean, me and Wanda almost certainly got the same trader together. Yeah, we got the same one. I'm just doing other things while I wait. Yeah. I forget. Uh, tools are no longer, like, random quality, right? No, they're based on uh, your uh, crafting abilities. Got it. Now I have to make a campfire. Rotting flesh. Take no take. Eat it. Well, it I'm says really... it gives me dysentery, so I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> Follow the on screen navigation. Yeah. Get it. So I'm noticing some part of the UI that's a little concerning. Yes. So on the top right of the screen where it says uh, the right residence and has four red skulls, is that bad? Yes. Okay. Hmm. That means you're in a, cool. a difficult point of interest. The... I've heard your advice, <laughs> and I'm fleeing. That is that is wise. Yeah, I, I walked I'd... through a door and there was nine growls. Yeah, oh, he evac. Yeah, yeah. Is coal useful for us or no? Early on, no, no, not yet. It'll be amazing later. It's going to be absolutely critical for us to have gunpowder and the likes. Right. Uh, but I for the time being, stone though. If you just find regular stone notes. Yeah. It'll, that'll be huge for you, because it's mostly how we're going to get our ammo. And also how we'll repair our tools. Always keep a couple of free bits of stone in your in inventory. Never use them all up. Because to repair your stone axe when it breaks is just one stone. Yep. Oh, so you can repair it after it breaks. You don't have to repair, yep. repair it beforehand? Yep, yep. It'll just break, and then it'll be you'll hear a, a, a clunky... Well, it's funny, because it's like a stone axe, and it'll sound like someone just threw a bag full of like metal wrenches at you. Um, but that means it's broken, and you just need to pop into your inventory and repair it. Oh, they did a pretty good job of eating up this, uh, this uh, elk or deer or whatever it is. They were not very wasteful. see the sell value of an object? Uh, it depends on the object, by and large. Um, some of them need to be oh, stacked. Shit. Yeah, I don't think you, you can see the sell value. You should be able to when, you tr when you're when you talking to him about selling them. I'm just seeing the number, unless it's 62 per piece, but no, that doesn't make any sense. What are you trying to sell? Oh, I see it. It's in the top right. Uh, I was yeah. I I sold some extra headlight headlights that I just randomly found. I was like, oh yeah, cool, sure. No, that's yeah, the, that's the best those. thing to do. Yeah. Uh, Modi and Penta, are you guys heading towards your trader? Have I you am. started it is that part. Three hundred and sixty meters southeast. That's perfect, and you are definitely heading to the one that me and Wandra are at. And Penta, what about you? Uh... I'm gonna assume it's the same way because it's all it's, it's like southeast. It, and I see how both far? of your pings on the mark. Uh, 540. Then yes, because you are 520 away from me. So yeah, definitely. I okay, that is so much the... of a relief because I was genuinely concerned because that is the most common thing that the a group of people will start and they'll all have traders like five or six kilometers away from each other. I just don't want to be at the house anymore. Yeah, I have, not until oh, I, I could... at least have 
boots. 54 cotton. Should I still be collecting more when I see it or no? Uh, you don't have to, but you absolutely can Ooh. turn that cotton into useful stuff, like cloth fragments, which you can then turn into bandages, oh, no. which I strongly oh, recommend. Right, once you've gone to the Is that trader, my first zombie? you will have completed your quest and you'll be given five skill points to invest. Oh. Are zombies sound based in this too? Yes. Like sprinting near them is going to make them. Yeah. Why is that zombie jumping up and down in the middle of the street? He's having fun. I see Monty's campfire. Should I have taken my bed? No, no. We're almost certainly not going to be uh, staying is, in the same place. Is there location damage with melee and or ranged? Uh, there are headshots, and yes, if you shoot them in the leg, they'll crumple onto that, that but underneath that leg. Um, like, you can shoot individual limbs off, and stuff like that. If you ever take the both legs off a zombie, then it'll become a crawler. If you take both arms off a zombie, then it really can't do much about attacking do you, and you can have a pet. Do I have to do something after knocking a zombie out? Can I loot them? Uh, no, they will drop a bag if, uh, like a like a loot bag if there is something to loot. Oh, so there isn't. I did double tap him once he was on the ground and his head exploded. No, do I have to do is that? This is this checkpoint lootable. Uh, oh yeah, no, that's a point of interest. There's going to be plenty of zombies in there. Kill the chicken. So oh, if Aaron. if I knock a zombie out. Do I have to hit it again in the head to make sure it doesn't get back up? No. no once, it, once it's down, okay, it's down. You don't have to pulp them okay. in this. Hello, checkpoint. Doo, 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 doo. Now, let's have a look at these books that I picked up. Vehicles, so what are, improves food crafting skills. You got books already? Yeah. I got a magazine. There were loads of magazines in the... Uh, in the just on the tables in the... Shop? Shop, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize. Hammer, assault rifle crafting Soul skill. From that scary house. So do I go in this checkpoint, or are they going to shoot at me? Are there shooty NPCs or just zombies? Oh. There are very much shooty and, uh, zombies, but they are not Wait. things you're going to find. Help. Evac? Shooty what? zombies? That was weird. <laughs> If they've got a helmet, they will resist headshots. Yeah, I figured. Avac, I think you're hitting me with Yeah, that, I just realized I caught you with a, a part of the swing. Draw right back. Ow. Knocking or, an no, I think, I think it's hitting me. Got a Mardi over there. Hey, Taking don't off. hit me. Oh, they can hit you're me. You're bleeding, yeah, watch out. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, I think we what might be having some level of netcode problems. You were bleeding. Yeah, I was a that. decent distance from him, and he was still hit me. So the range is really deceptive, and crawlers are the worst. Okay, for that. you will you'll learn the 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 distance where you can dash in and get back, but usually you want to just be on the edge of their range, and it is going to take some. Uh, Getting you so oh, that is long. Can of cat food. So, this man wearing a nice big helmet and army bag didn't drop anything for me to take off of him? I'm afraid not. Oh, I, I want his helmet and backpack. Okay, I'm gonna. Have you got him? Oh, goodness. Yeah, he is dead. Learn how to craft exploding arrows. Okay. Yes. Right. So, does anyone have an idea yet of what kind of focus they want their skills to go into. Nope. I have not at all. Okay. Because I was planning to kind of see what everybody else was leading into and go okay. a I don't different know the game direction. Function, so I don't want to make that decision yet. I'm putting a point into Lucky Looter at the very least. That is a good one to put a point into. Absolutely. Yeah, you're going to want to spread arrows. a little bit of your points around regardless. Like a, a few things are always good. For example... Getting healing factor allows you to naturally recover some hit points slowly, but you can do it. Um, iron gut means that you're going to use less food and hydration from doing actions and also makes you less likely to get food poisoning. Always worth it, in my opinion. 
Um, oh, should I go talk to the trader first? Does that open up more? Yes. Yeah, because that gets you your quest. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Lucky Looter is a fantastic one. Yeah, because a little bit of extra loot bonus. Um, treasure salvage operations. There's so many different things. Um, uh, there's like a zombified... Oh, this is um, not where I'm supposed to be. Can I take all of these jobs or should I just take one? Uh, you'll only be able to take one at a time. Okay, so I should do the one that's close first? Yes, always go for yeah, the closest sweet. one you can. And you'll notice that you automatically share your quest with anyone else in your group. Now, oh. before doing oh. the quest, wait until everyone is nearby before you activate, because you have to basically run over to it and activate like a little floating exclamation mark. Anyone who's not by, it'll tell you that they won't be included in the quest. But as long as everyone is nearby, you all will get quest, um, like a uh, acknowledge, uh, sorry, rewards for doing the quest. Like literally, if we all go there and do that now, we can all come back and get individual rewards for having completed that quest, even though it was just one quest, specifically yours. Ah, so mine is a different one that's over there. I don't have one from Wander yet. Whatever Wander just completed. Uh, Wander hasn't picked up a quest, I don't think, has he? Oh, I just saw a thing that says Wander reached the rally point. Oh. Where's Wander? Did drop anything? If that's what that meant. Penta has still not accepted my ally message. I'm not seeing, um, I'm not hearing Wander at the moment. So wait, you got mine for find buried supplies? Because I only have one quest in the upper right. Yeah, I've got tier one buried supplies. I'll go and grab a, a mission now. And we'll just wait on also, Penta to get here as well. this buying and selling menu work? It's very full and... Customer. I thought you right, you go into the inventory and then you dead. literally just click on an item in your inventory that you want to sell and you can sell it if you've got enough. Like, some things require you to sell a lot at once uh, just mm, because they're such gotcha. low-value items. So, for example, I can only sell um, lead in quantities of 10. Um, gotcha. So that I did find 180 brass. Oh uh, yeah, you can probably just sell that. Definitely. Can, you don't yeah. want to just wait and use it for bullet casing. <laughs> I mean, you know, we will eventually get it. Ah, Panther is here at last. I killed right. a military zombie and he didn't drop me his backpack. This is yeah, the worst very sad. Right? Uh, Wanda, are you nearby, mate? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to pop back to the I shop? Idea. I will show Trader? you a secret. Sure. Yeah. Okay. There is a, a oh. wee secret in this one in particular. All of them have it. And also, like around the trader's compound, there are lootable things all the way around. I haven't looted outside. I grabbed a couple of the books off the tables in here. But like the barrels, the, uh, the trash cans, any broken cars or anything like that, you can loot all of them inside. So that's all lootable? Mm -hmm. All of that is lootable. And sometimes it's a good, like, there are guaranteed spawns in the traders' areas. Uh, so it's okay. always worth checking back. it out. Where is my gold actually? Wow, you go through, you go downstairs fast. Yeah. Right, Modi, okay. pop back up top. I'll show you a, a secret over here. Also, did you grab a quest? Because I still only uh, no, have mine in no, the yeah, right. Penta is oh, talking okay. to the trader. It's a blessing. Okay, okay, so secret. Oh, go ahead. Oh no, you said there was a secret. Yeah, the secret. If Penta, well, is we'll there wait fire for damage? Is that what you're about? To oh no, there is fire damage. That's not the secret. Literally downstairs <laughs> is where Thanks this trader keeps here. all of his Come best here. stuff because it's his home. The way down there is to crouch and drop down the fireplace, and there are more books. Come on down. Oh. They will. Wow. You will always be able to get to a place if you can see it in this. How so, easy it's going to be to does, get there is completely oh, different. Speed. Does the trader hate us for doing this, though? Nope. Nope, not at all. We Search can just his do fancy it. toilet. He has murky water in here. Right, so there's... A 12% chance of Piles of books on the, the table. You can grab those. I've just looted this empty bookcase. Wow, this stuff in magazine. The, this coal, charcoal in the oven. Someone needs to learn not to leave their food in there. Uh, there we go. Just lose a little bit of everything. Uh, right, is it anyone thinking about going heavy into perception as being more of a... Right, so the easiest way to decide what kind of thing you're going to go into is each stat kind of governs certain weapons. 
it's going to be generally easier to focus on one or two stats at most. And so those are the, the ones that you're likely to have the best skill of their governing weapons. So, for example, rifles and spears is perception. Shotguns and clubs is strength. Uh, fisticuffs, so literal uh, like brass knuckles and stuff like that. And machine guns is fortitude. Archery and pistols and also knives is agility. And then... Uh, Robotics turrets and stun batons is intellect. In like the robotic turret is a difficult one because like intellect doesn't actually have a ranged weapon per se. You've got a turret that you can deploy. It's a bit clunky, or you can pick it up and shoot it while you're carrying it. It's not a good one for ranged, but the stun baton can be very very powerful in the melee role. Now, do you recommend going one or two stats, or just all in on one? Um, the camp is sort of split on that. I personally think going one or two myself. Um, but some people will just go all in on one, and just everything focused on that. There's, it is, even if that is what you're going to do, there's all, it's always worth putting one point or two in a couple of utility skills, even in your off stat. Um, branches, like for example putting, um, getting like healing factor or iron gut or cardio from fortitude, even if you're not going a fortitude build, but you're going to be limited on how high you can take those things, because very quickly to get the next level in say, I don't know um, archery, you're going to need a higher level of agility, and those cost m m way more points mm. as you start getting to the higher levels, which is why you tend to focus in one or two stat trees at a time so I'll probably go perception unless somebody really wants then to go that here direction. Here you go. I picked up a Rifle World magazine. Cool. How how oh. well does archery actually stack up when you have availability to guns later, though? Personally, uh, I almost always go stealth archer <laughs> because I, archery I is love, super good. I love super the good. idea of archery and pistols, but and I'm also open to whatever uh, I like shotguns archery too. also moves into crossbow which is basically like a, a silent rifle it's amazing it can become mm. super super good um what about you penta what are you thinking i got no idea okay well you don't need to make a decision here and it, it doesn't matter if we're overlapping a bit there's there's no there really isn't going to be a case where oh well someone didn't take this or so we're completely gimped that that won't happen uh, I'm going to go intellect though, so I'm going to grab some points in electrocutioner. Uh, I've got one more point available. How do you, do you rec so you said specializing is good. Is there any just like immediate take these at level one and then specialize into your attribute? Uh, like I said, healing factor is great because it gives you a passive health mm -hmm. regen. Otherwise, you won't have one. Iron gut is also oh. good because it reduces the amount of food and water you need, but also reduces the chance of getting dysentery as well. Um, outside of that, there's a couple of others, like Lucky Looter is, is quite often useful. Uh, like one point in that is decent. Uh, I will okay. also do we want to go find a place? We to... do ne now need to go find a place, yes, because it's getting late. Okay, uh, oh, look, you we can't get out stay of here. The keys, the uh, keys on the wall will open the door. Oh, we cannot stay here, unfortunately. He will kick us out. Okay, so we should we should probably, like, scoot down the yeah, road. Yeah, I'm going to quickly uh, go and grab a, a uh, mission. Howdy. So that in, on sure. the morrow we can do that. Do you have any jobs? Uh, okay, I'm going to take the Clear Zombies quest. I would recommend Clear Zombies or Fetch or Fetch and Clear missions because they're the less annoying. Buried treasure is a pain in the ass, I remember. Yes. Though it is a lot better than it used to be. Like, a lot better yeah. than it used to be. I'll, I'll probably be picking buried treasure just because I got perks that will help that, but... Yeah. Also, I did pick up a cooking magazine. Okay. At some point. Somebody decides to go that direction. Okay, we've got two buried supplies, one tier one clear... Uh, two tier one clears. Okay, nice. Right. Which direction do we want to go in then? Oh well. Anyone got a preference on direction we travel in? 
I'm already mm -hmm. lost. Yo, I'm just gonna follow you guys. <laughs> that okay. is absolutely fine. I might have missed a whole bunch of crap while you guys are in there doing your stuff, so I'm just gonna. Well, That's fine. Want... You really haven't. Don't your... worry about it. Well, I mean, was there like loot and like I so don't know, loot instance, pretty much or... no? It is not. It is shared okay. between the group. Okay. Thing and I got an explosives magazine. If somebody's going to go the explosive boy, which I, I think, think is fortitude. Me. Oh, is it you? Is it? Uh, um, I, think I thought you were going perception. Is perception. Oh yeah. yeah. Wow, that's interesting. That that's perception. Cool. Uh, pa 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 pa. There's a okay. thing. Knowledge. Was there only the oh, one guy I was mind. supposed to talk to? Yeah. yeah was there he, anything I was yeah. supposed to buy yeah. from him? Sell to nope. him? Not unless there was something and you had money, which I'd be impressed if you had it at this point. Okay. Uh, Sun's getting kind of low, yeah. so we should, we should get on a move. Down the road? Yeah. Since that is moving towards uh, Moddy's quest, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And There's yours, actually, it right? might be. Uh, we can take him out. Experience is experience. Oh, I really need to think of it. Is there a reason to loot cars? What was it, sorry? Not, uh, it, there's no reason to loot cars generally. Uh, they have some interesting stuff. Okay. But in terms of like breaking them down until we have a purpose for it, probably not. By the way, okay, um, I've already made a bone knife by taking apart a uh, carcass i will make everyone some bone knives because that's how we are going to get food in the future and uh, like a bone knife can tear apart a carcass far more effectively than any other tool is is that also a dagger for the purpose yes. of my knife skills then? Yep. okay so i should look into making one of those uh i've got one here that i can drop on the floor there you go wish i had fancy clothes like those, those lads what do you mean, fancy clothes? You've got a t-shirt, uh, man. Uh, like, <laughs> it looks like you're at least wearing armor. I am wearing woven plants. <laughs> it is technically, in the barest, you, barest definition. Uh, uh, just just from uh, uh, plant fibers. Uh, Moddy, you can use your dagger to tear this up. You'll get I, more from it. The Penta on the floor. yoinked it. Oh. Uh, in that case, I shall... I thought Marty was still standing like 40 meters behind us. I was, was a foot behind you, but yes. You were okay. in the back, like, aimlessly staring yeah. at a corner. On the floor. Wall. Oh, yeah, no, I, I redid all my settings. So is uh, that how you chop up zombie corpses, too? Or Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, you zombie corpses, not so much. It's, it's really not necessary anymore. Used to be. But they, they, they basically... It was, it was such a tedious task that they removed it from the game. Zombie dogs or any zombie animal, you still do that too, though. Gotcha. You use a dagger, or you can use an axe. Any edge weapon will do it. Well, realistically, you could pummel it with a club. But we definitely need to be making some progress towards a place where we can bunker down. Because if it... I see a building this direction. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's actually the direction I need to go to. It is yeah, I, I know there's a quest over there, but I, I think I see, like, a big house. Yeah. So on my brief excursion into that scary zone, I did get a cooking pot. I'm assuming, like, other zombies... Oh, that is going to be amazing. Yes, that'll allow us to cook some food. Uh, does anyone want to go for the uh, food tree? For the cooking tree? In particular, like, does anyone want to have that as their duty? Because the, someone will need to spec into it to get the most out of it. Hans has got the pot. You have to spec I'd... into food? Yeah, you... To get you more out of it. Yeah, to, uh. to, like, you'll get, like, recipe reductions and stuff like that. But also, certain things are going to require you to have picked up uh, chef skill books. So, effectively, the books you find when just lo looting, like, um... Uh, bookcases oh, and stuff like that will be based on the skills you have. The game will weight your the books you find based on the skills that are useful to you. Oh, that's so helpful. You, so whoever puts a point into cooking is going to start finding cooking books which will teach them the recipes to make the various foods. Well, I know how to make explosive arrows, so... <laughs> so that's the book I found. Okay. Uh... Panther is still with us. I'm just making sure. Yep. Kinda. 
Are you overburdened, mate? Because you're moving slow as molasses. Me? I don't know how. I don't know how to tell. All right, in your inventory, is he, is he dead? There is. Oh, a, yeah, he's it's dead. A, it's the backpack oh. things. Oh no, no, yeah. I'm, I'm fine. I'm just not sprinting anywhere because I've I... built-in zomboid tech uh, brain where I don't sprint everywhere. No, that that's perfectly it... fine. It'll it'll keep you safe, especially once we get to populated areas. Though right now, getting to a house because we also need to clear the house There's before nightfall. One on top of this hill. Mm -hmm. Then I I will ask this. Then mm -hmm. is there any outside of making noise? Is there a harmful uh, cause or a harmful effect of running? If you've got certain wounds, yes. When you get hit by zombies and, and take damage, there's a, there's a chance you might develop a wound. And if you've got a wound, you're more likely to develop more from further injuries. Some of them will do things like if you jump, you will take damage. If you run, you will take damage. Um, like if you if you break your leg, don't run on it and don't jump. Put it in a splint and walk everywhere. And you should be okay. And in time, it'll heal. Um, but at base level, I'm not going to just run through bushes and get like... No, no. Deep cuts. Oh. No, there, there, yeah. there will be stuff that we will find like in points of interest. Like, oh god, this is possibly not Traps. the best place. Okay, just be aware this is an army place, so there is now a significantly larger chance. There's mines, there mines. wander, wander. Oh. Yeah, that is the problem. Yep. Okay, this was not a good place for us to come to. Hill. Are the mines all above ground? Because uh... I, I can see the mines with the little red dots, but I'm worried about ones that you can't. See. Yeah, they, they they will all all be there, right? Penta, okay. walk over to me because this place is a minefield. At this I don't point, see any red. Uh, it's very subtle. Some sometimes it can be incredibly subtle, and like a zombie just subtle? found one. Right. Okay. Well, we need somewhere to bunker down, so it's either we go for this one or we continue down the path and try and find somewhere else. But we are probably out of luck at this point. Is there a visible yeah. mine I can be showed to like visualize Fort it? Quonset, four. Yes. Skulls. If you come over to me, I, oh god, four skulls. Yeah. Oh, yep. I see them. Yeah. There's three. Why don't we just bunker here. down in that tower? Maybe. What's the what's Will the that area work? effect on them? Uh, it's big enough to be a problem. I'm somewhat confident about being able to take on the zombies, even once they're running. But what I would recommend, everyone grab enough plant fiber to build yourself a quick bedroll. Are we, like, going inside one of these bunker doors, or what are we... I I'm just saying we hide in this tower, yeah. never mind. Yeah, I wreck... There oh, there's a zombie up there. Oh, okay. there's, there's like two of them. The zombies are now running. Can we run them through the mines? We can, absolutely. Um, How many arrows do I have? They seem stupid. Well, oh yeah, these are not smart zombies, but they have a petronatural sense for structural stability. Every one of these zombies was, in their use, a, a structural oh, yeah, engineer. Boy. He's on the mine. He's literally on top. I yep. shot him. He is there. But yeah, they have a knowledge of structural stability that is just ridiculous. Headshot. Oh. Well, I was really hoping the campfire would give us more it light will. than it does. It'll set the zombies on fire if they run over it. So good placement. Oh, I've been stunned. That's bad. Another one's on its way. I'm low on stamina. Drinking some water to recover it. Damn, stop hitting me. Well done there, Penta. I'll Very just train nice this one around Penta. in circles. Okay. Whee! Thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm yeah, he's now. running. He's faster than you are at night. Friendly fire? Okay, he's down. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, okay. use nice. a bandage. There's another one coming. She's... Okay, Whoop. never mind. She's dealt with herself. Landmine. Oh. oh okay, so they Will don't that sound know. call more, though? It can, Probably. but... It looks like this place, I'm going to guess, is a most of the uh, points of interest. I think it's interest, got an underground. Yeah, most of the points of interest in this game are what are called funhouse points of interest. There are some regular ones that are exactly what they look to be. But quite a few of them are funhouses, which means it, they're probably, it's probably a secret government lab that's been 
involved in researching zombies and there's going to be a whole hive of tunnels underneath and that's probably where most of the zombies are so we should for now be relatively safe arrow. you can pick them up yeah yeah but I, I i my last several have been broken on impact i'm guessing it's a, like a coin flip uh yeah and different arrows have better um survival mm -hmm. odds so are we sleeping in the tower or are we looking at one of the buildings? Tempted to look at one of the buildings. Like we are going to be here for a while, so we should move I carefully. I see a zombie inside. If you crouch, the window. you will be stealthed. If you have put points into, well, even if you haven't put points into stealth kills, you will get a small damage boost from attacking from stealth. Um, okay. It is Can't going tell. to Does be your bread and butter. Noise. Everything makes less noise whilst crouched, including cutting down trees. Huh. Yeah. What? Yeah. Huh. Huh. <laughs> you can there be there, in there mining. <laughs> you, you can literally be digging a mine, and you will make less noise doing it if you crouch first. Question. Yes. How do I tell if a laying down zombie is dead or alive? You put an arrow into it. If it gets up, it was playing dead. Oh, hello. It's oh. alive. Oh. <laughs> and there's four of them, maybe. That's yeah. not good. Yeah, tower. that's not great. They will destroy you that tower. You can shoot through the door, and yeah, they will destroy that tower. Maudie and I. Safely climbed on the ladder. We're doing good, though. Well, keep it up. Oh, God. Please tell them, go for the heads when they're on the ground. That one's down. Where's Wanda? I'm dead. I went outside to the minefield. Did you manage to Did get it, it into the minefield? Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Crawlers I hate because their hitbox is so deceptive. Yeah. Uh, I hear more I, mines. I yeah, feel so like I hit them a billion times. Okay. Is there well a way done. to cancel the arrow I have drawn? Press R for reload. Oh. I need to make so many more arrows now. I'm out of feathers. Uh, here, I'll drop you half of mine. Mm. There you go. Okay, one more. I'm going to put a bunch of useless stuff in Two this more. truck. Hey, Avic, we've got a... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Yeah, I was crafting. Go for the legs if you can. Disable them. Right, you did a good shot on the leg there. Okay, well done there. there. One. All right, I'm gonna rush out and help Panther yeah. in hand to hand. Right, going in. There is friendly fire, so tr don't get too close with the wide swing weapons. Wander is probably the best because his weapon is so precise. Ow. Yeah, but I'm almost dead. Okay, uh, hang back. He's down. He's down. Patch yourselves up. If you've got a medical bandage, use it. I used all of mine. Oh god, those mines oh, are still. I only have normal bandage. How do you make it a medical bandage? Uh, you started with one, skill. and yeah, ah. you can make one through crafting with medics and stuff like that. Medical skill will teach it, or just finding the right equipment will do it. Um, like you can find the stuff you need to make a medical bandage, but uh, do you only get one perk per level? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, after the first five, yes. But the levels come fairly nice and fast, so it shouldn't be too rough for us. Okay. Right, I'm going to pop a point into advanced engineering. That will start feeding me books that will allow me to build things like furnaces and uh, crucibles and anvils and things. It'll also what give me a better um, recipe on it. Symbol mean? Oh, you've been okay. infected. Okay. So, how big is the infection right now? 0.4%. Okay. I managed to get a bunch of honey, and honey, being the god tier food that it is, can cure an infection. There you go. But only if it is up to uh, 5%. So, if you want to... Oh, hey. <laughs> well, Should I eat it? Yeah, so, you what are the chances it, of getting everything. infected from hits? Uh... Yeah, it's somewhat high. You don't you don't want to ah. get hit needlessly. So I I'm at six point three percent, even though I've been hit Balls. less than Penta or Wander. 
you got hit a long time ago then. Uh, it builds no, up. I think this started when that first zombie when we got here. Yeah, that would make sense. If if you didn't notice it, like that, that's how long it'll take. I can give you another honey, but it's not going to cure you. But it will so, stall it. It'll pull it down to about one percent. Oh, so am I just like actually dead, dead now? No, no. We just need to keep looking ah. for other things. There are antibiotics. Uh, it, I dropped it on the floor here for you. Um, there's antibiotics which are much more powerful. They can they can deal with a much higher infection. There's, steroids. Uh, steroids won't help, but I mean they'll let you carry more. They'll make uh, you that's thirsty. Just reduced it to zero, or at least. It just uh, was it six percent. It or turned 6? into a six point four. Yeah, yeah, no, no. And the, it, the smiley face is telling you that you're currently, uh, like, at your level, you've got something working against the infection, but it's going to run out before uh, it finishes getting rid of it. Whereas, Penta's will be finished completely. Um, it, it isn't too rough. I can show you, like, to get honey is actually really simple. You just look for um, uh, tree stumps. They're, they're a good source of honey. Gotcha. How was so this zombie not aware of us? It was just... What the... I, yeah, I there's a couple them. in the trenches that I do not want to deal with. Okay. Mardi, come over here, because you, if you're going archery, you're, you're going to... Again, your bread and butter is going to be stealth kills. So, first and foremost, stop right there. Right beneath you, you can see some garbage. That will make noise if you move over it. That will alert ah. zombies. Just take out your axe, destroy it. You can destroy it quietly if you're crouched. That makes some Don't sense, ask. I guess. Don't ask. Magic crouching. Right. Oh, she's a really bad example of this. You'll Because you can't get the headshot. Yeah, you'll still do more damage from shooting her from stealth. And are you wearing the cooking pot on... Oh, no, you got a cowboy hat. I thought you were wearing hat. the cooking pot on your head. Well done. That went a lot faster than Ooh. it would have otherwise. Okay, I'm on the building. Now continue scouting forward. So even the like, will this like cardboard garbage work or only the ones that look 3D only and the ones are... that look 3D. Ah. It used to be that it was just a flat texture and it was very confusing. But now it's only if it's 3D. Fort Quonset. There's a deer. Food, good eating there. No. Can I make the deer run into the lines? You absolutely can. But it tends to run away from you rather than to you, which makes it harder to lure them in the right direction. How much drop is there on these? I haven't really noticed. Uh, on the self-made bow, it is garbage. So there is a decent amount of drop. But nice. That was perfect. Mm. There you go. This is the way of the stealth archer, There's my friend. There's a crawler way the heck out there in the grass. I saw him for a second. I dislike crawlers. But there's, there's an a unlocked source of door into this bunker that I don't bones. know if I trust. Has everyone got Straight a bone knife yet? There's a zombie right there. I, I do to... have a bone knife. Okay, there is no zombie in this bunker unless it's laying on the ground. Wanda, do you... Oh, it is. Do you have a bone uh, knife, yeah. Wanda? Not yet. I can make Guys, one. Uh, maybe. We got a zombie. Oh. Avec, avec. Okay, Ooh. I'm on it. Oh. Hurts a bit. Nice kill. You got him. Well, I've got some bones here that I can drop for you, Wanda, so you can use to make him a bone knife. Sure. There you go. New journal. Entry. Once you've got a knife, it's so easy to get more bones. Huh. Okay, so here is an example of some hidden loot. Oh! Does it require going through a fireplace? Uh. Something hit a landmine. As long as it wasn't one of us. Right, I'm going to let you finish that, because it looks like what's it's underneath it is just a cardboard body. box. You can absolutely destroy the cardboard box and the loot inside if you mm. continue mining. So uh, It's got a bone and some rotting flesh. Delicious. Aren't you very happy that we got that? So are we uh, I'm rolling? popping down a bedroll in here just so that I have a spawn point. Ah, yeah, that's a good point. 
Do you have also, to do anything on it or just put it down? Just put it down. Also, cool. if we can get up top here, which yeah, you can with a little bit of effort, bunny hopping, you can put another bedroll up here as well. I can oh. see plenty of nests outside, as long as you're brave yeah, the mines. That, just, there's lots of arrow potential. I don't actually see mines out on this side, and that worries me. They absolutely are. I, I can see them from up here, but... No, oh, they're yeah, you're safe side. if you go to those. Yeah. Now, I might be better off being the one looting the nests. Because a lucky looter, or does that not really change too much? With nests, not really going to make that much of an impact. Okay. Because it's like it's five percent, and, and nests have such low tier loot, it's not really going to impact it. Um, but it okay. would make more sense for you with high levels of lucky looter in uh, particularly nice, like uh, like uh, reward chests and stuff like that. Where there's potentially a large amounts of loot, or there is a lot of variance in how good the loot could be. Oh, oh, guys! Oh God! Hey. Oh God! Wanda, keep running. Just keep running. I'm aware. Try to run them through the uh... landmines. If Land you run them back man. around this side, Moddy, can you get up here? Because from here, you and me will basically be immune to attack. Was, is from it this side, from, from this side. Get up on the sandbags on this side, and then jump, and then double jump. I'm out of stamina. Okay, it's all right. Are they chasing me? No, I think you lost them. They are wandering around. I th oh, I think you dropped them off on Penta. Penta, can you run through the center towards us? Uh, oh, good, good, yeah. good, go. Right, okay, so to get up there, you go to the side over on... Oh, God, it's a spider. Disapprove enormously. Spider already now? They can jump. You and I are not safe up here from a spider. God, I love the uh, model, though. That spine on those things is grotesque. Did you Where'd kill the it? other ones go? Right, yeah, the spider's keep coming dead. this way, Panther. Okay, <laughs> oh god, mind. there's a fat one. Um, yeah, there's a big one. He just an HP. He's got an enormous boy. amount of HP. Yeah. However, if that was a fat cop, they can vomit acid and they will explode once agitated enough. Okay, just attack from afar. Headshots will do a lot more damage, and for our pitiful bows. It's kind of necessary to take these big HP dumps down. Is he, is he done? Nope. Down, down, nope. down. He was just knocked off. He uh, burped. He did. Oh, my aim is garbage right now. I think the orange one. No, he's not dead. dead. Oh my you god. Picked I the most exciting spot to start. We did. We really did, yeah. There's like, oh, okay. Okay, the Good. fat one's dead. I think this orange one's dead. We've got There's the still an army, army zombie over here somewhere. Now with the army zombies, don't go for the head specifically because their helmet will protect them from headshots. So oh, like for fully them, protect them? Oh. Yeah, pretty much. For them, like I shot. mean, if you've got a ridiculously good high-powered weapon, it just protects them from like multipliers. So if you've still got a weapon that will destroy their head from a single hit, go for it. But um. Useful to go for legs and arms if they've got protection like that. Because you can Do take we? the leg off them. Oh, God damn. It. The, it the like broken animations on the bow are messing with me so hard. There we go, he's done. Alright, you're done. I can't actually okay. tell when I... Oh, okay, apparently I did have a arrow socket and I just kind of threw it. Alright. Ooh, okay, well that was, a, that was an exciting Not beginning to the day. Yeah. How's everyone doing for food? Uh, I haven't eaten. One I'm pretty hungry, yeah. Fourth-ish. Right then, let's... As we... Oh, oh. that guy's still up! Whee. No, you stay away. Finish him off, Wanda. I just stamina. No, no. It's okay, he's down. But he's gone. Oh, I need some of my arrows back. Holy crap. I have seven arrows total. Most of that from right. looting stuff grab, back up off the grab ground. Grab some of these arrows in here. There's a massive collection of them. One second. Uh, you can. Alive, aren't you? you were. 
I still hear a zombie. Yeah, so do I. No, I just I just killed one that was laying down okay, outside. So. Didn't get woken up by well anything. Dawn's are coming. Yeah, Dawn is. The moment you hear that music, zombies stop running. 